How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. This isn't a video I was going to record, but I've decided to do it anyway. It was a pretty major mess up to be honest. Um, and yeah, I've decided to make this video because I think there's a lot of helpful tips that will help you guys out. And it certainly helped me out because I've learned a lot today. So, let's just get straight into it. I'm not going to mess about because I'm feeling a bit bunged up. This might end up being a bit of a short video, but I do feel that there's loads of useful advice in this video for you. So I'm just going to rattle this out on the little DJI camera, uh, no fancy editing, and just tell it like it is. You guys will know that I'm no stranger to doing my own paint. I love painting. I really enjoy it. I've always done my own paint. I've never been scared of it. I've always gave it a go and it's always had decent results. But I've realised today that I've been doing so much wrong the whole time. Now, I've done flat colours, metallic colours, I've done three stage pedal colours, and so far I've had really good results, right up until I got a Renault Clio NMP pedal in. And I was warned, this is a nightmare to paint, but I thought I would just attack it the way I normally do. I used my usual guns, I mixed everything the way I normally mixed it, and I'll insert some pictures in now. As you can see, this paint job turned out absolutely shocking. It was way too heavy on the pedal coats, it looked awful. The paint match was not even close. Uh, where I blended on the bumper, I can get away with it on the front, and where it met the wing it was okay, but it was just awful i could not give that back like that and this isn't one of your cars this was a customer's car so i had to make sure i get this done properly so done a load of research and i came up with a fact came up with a few different facts right my spray guns needed cleaned out and repaired so i went to my local paint suppliers i got a load of stuff to fix my deville bliss slg gun this is a starting line gun it's not an expensive gun, I think it was about £65, but it is better than good old faithful Clark gun. But what I also decided to invest in while I was there was PPS cups. Now, these are an absolute game changer. It is so quick. This one here is a base coat that I've used, and this one here is the pedal coat. And it's just a case of quarter turn on top of the gun, clean it out, quarter turn the new one back on and it's good to spray again such a game changer one of the biggest problems i had to paint this car the first time was my air pressure so i've painted for years with no air regulator and didn't realize that i'm probably painting at 80 90 psi which was just overloading the paint absolutely shocking you should be spraying at like 30 psi 40 maximum so i've put that on as you can see, I've already painted the base coat on the car. It's nice, even coats, and it's ready to go. It's ready for the pedal coats. One of the biggest eye-openers for me today was when I started using the PPS cups and when I took the pressure of my gun down. So when I first painted that with base coat, I got a quarter litre from spray stores, like I always do. Mixed it up, one to one. And I went through the whole lot doing two or three coats. That was obviously way, way too heavy because in my PPS cutty base cuppy base coat here, I've still got loads of it. So I've reduced the flow, I've reduced the air pressure, I'm not overloading the paint. So I'm getting a much more even finish. I'm saving paint, I'm saving money, and it was just a quick quarter turn. That came off, I can now store it, I can put the little cap in it, I can store it for the next job. You never know, I might even get a bumper touch up. That will be good to go. Quarter turn onto the gun and I'm spraying. This pedal coat, i done exactly the same the last time. I got it mixed up for spray stores and again, I went for a one to one ratio. And I think one of the biggest problems I had was I painted the wing flat on top of having 80 psi air pressure and masses amount of the paint coming out so now i'm made under control 
my coats are lighter, I'm hoping this will come out good. So I'm just about to lay down some pearls. The base coat's flashed off, it's time to get this in pearl coat. I've been told two or three coats of this pearl should do it. As you can see here, I've sprayed a base coat on the window here, it is covered up. But I'm going to test the pearls on here first, just to see if I'm getting a close match. And then I'm going to lay them down on the wing. And we'll take this very, very slowly. Try and not make a balls of this one. And yeah, carry on for there. So I'm going to pop you on the tripod. We'll lay down some pearls and we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me properly through the respirator. But I've got my gun dialed in. I've just tested it on the window. And it's now time to do a very light coat. Over the top of the wing, I've checked my air pressure, got my PPS cup on, let's get it done and let's hope we get it right this time. Right guys, that's the first coat on, so we're going to leave that to flash, get 10, 15 minutes, see how it looks, maybe even 20 minutes because it's a wee bit colder, so we'll see how it goes. Right, so with the one coat of pearl on it, this is already looking so much better than it did the first time I did it. As you can see, we've got that orangey look to it now. Uh, it's, it's not just pink, it's not just red, it's got that orangey look that we were looking for the first time. And that's only after one coat, I think, maybe a little bit more here, maybe, I'm not sure. But definitely, I need a bit more down here, this is still a bit pinky looking. And then what I need to do is on the second coat, just bring it round the front of the bumper slightly more to blend it in. But this is looking so much better than it did before. It looks way better than it did the last time. And I'm a lot more confident about this colour matching now, so let's let us flash for another 5-10 minutes and then we'll lay down a second coat. Right, so we've gave that a good bit of time and I think, looking at it, definitely one more coat down here with a slight misting up towards the top. I really don't want to go too heavy on this, I don't want to make it too red again, but this is looking so much better so far. I really hope this one works out. The whole car's been painted before, so fairly recently too by the looks of it, so hopefully we'll get a good match on this, or at least close enough that the customer will be happy with it. So let's lay down the second coat of pearls, and fingers crossed we don't mess it up this time.
Right, so same goes with this clear, uh, this peril coat. I mixed up 300 mils of that and I've got just under 200 mil left. The last time, the first time I painted this, I used everything that I mixed up. I pretty much ran out of it. So I think we're way lighter this time. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it matches. I'm still letting it flash off. I'm still questioning myself. So we'll just need to wait and see. But, here's how easy these PPS cups are. So you turn your gun upside down, pull the trigger to let the paint out. And then, you quarter turn and pull off. It's that easy. And then, they come with these little lids. You can pop your little lid in it. Unscrew this. And then take the whole sleeve out of your hard cup. So your hard cup's got the measurements and everything on it for mixing. And then you set this aside for another time. And then all we need to do is a wee bit of lack of thinners in here, a wee bit of gun cleaner. And we can clean it out done, nice and easy. We don't have to... We don't have to mess about cleaning out the uh, old style hard cups and then refilling them. It's just so much easier, so much nicer to use. And yeah, very, very happy I got these. Very happy. Right, I've got my clear mixed up already in my PPS cup and this is obviously the first coat so we want to go quite light we don't want to get runs in it you basically just want to get some material onto the panel and yeah, you don't want to go too heavy this isn't going to be your finished coat this is basically just like a grab coat you want this to go tacky and then on our next coat we can lay down a nice wet coat and get a really good finish on it and we'll get the blend into the bumper and everything done as well and uh, I'll use a wee bit of blending spray just round about the Renault badge and that'll fade it out and uh, yeah, so far we're good to go this has had plenty of time to flash off I don't know if it's just me I'm super nervous I think it looks too red still I've literally used like 120 ml of the uh, the peril coat it's next to nothing compared to what I put on the last time I was very light still a bit worried about it I still think it looks a bit red but the young lad needs his car tomorrow so I have to get this done if it's still not quite right I'm going to have to get it back again but what I think I'll do is I've got an old wing upstairs I've got an old bonnet or something I think what I'll do is we'll do some test sprays and I'll find out what the perfect mix is to match his car because I've still got his old wing there. So if this doesn't work out, that's what we'll do. That's the plan. Let's do it. Right guys, that's the first coat of clear coat on. You don't want to stay in there with that stuff. But that now needs to flash off um, for a good 10-15 minutes. And then we'll go in and have a wee look and then we'll lay down the final coat of clear which will get its finish and already i think it's too red again i've put the first coat of clear on and i think it's a lot more orangey it's a lot more metallic but i still think it's too red i think we're going to have to paint this a third time but the young lad's going to have to take his car for work and maybe when he's on holiday for a week or something get it back or i'll figure something out but yeah, it's still not quite right, so let's get 10 minutes and we'll see. I may be wrong. Right guys, I can't take my mask off yet. But you can see the lacquer in the light. It has brought out a little bit more of that orange. We've got a nice clear coat finish there. Hopefully it flashes off quick enough. We don't get any runs. Down into the bumper, it's looking really nice. And then if we come round here, I've blended just under the Renault badge and take it all the way onto the number plate. So front bumper looks nice, 
nice and smooth, nice and flat. Again, we've got a really nice finish out our gun, so I don't think we'll need to flatten and polish much. Couple of wee dust nib nibs, maybe. But let's see what it's like. Let's see what it's like after it's dried. There's not really a lot we can do now until the morning. This has to sit, it has to dry. I'll need to take the tape off. I'm still not convinced it's quite the right colour. Looks better than it did the first time. But yeah, I think we might be doing a third paint job on this. Let's wait and see. See you in the morning. Right, so it's the next morning, bright and early, and I've already been in and I have cheekily unwrapped a little bit of this Renault Clio. And I'm sorry to say, but it's still not quite right. As you can see, it's still a little bit too red. It's nowhere near as bad as it was the first time, but it's still a bit too red. And I followed the instructions that Renault say. So, this is what I think. Obviously, this door's been painted before. This has been painted. The bonnet's been painted. That whole side on the other side's been painted as well. This has all been painted. So, I think it's had pretty much near enough a full respray. Yeah, this door's been painted as well. So, I don't think it's original NMP colour. Obviously, it's uh, the the colour codes on the door. It's T E N M P, which this is supposed to be, but it's just no quite a match. So I think we're going to have to get it back and go for a third time doing it, and just go with one coat of pearl. The thing is, with this type of job, we don't even know if the body shop that done it have used. The right colour of base coat, we don't know if they've used the right tint of pearl. All I can go off is the colour code. So I think what we're gonna to have to do is get it back at some point. We're gonna to have to paint this again with one coat of pearl instead of two. And areas like the bonnet, the door, and the A pillar, we're gonna to have to blend into them as well, which makes it a much bigger paint job. A much more expensive paint job but I think it's the only way we're going to get this to match um, just for the simple fact that it's all been painted before and I don't think it's a hundred percent the right color so yeah let's get it next door get it up on jacks and we'll put the wheel arch liners and everything back in and get this wee thing ready to go Right guys, finally, the little Cleo's all back together. Got all the inner wheel arches back on. Got all the lights working. Been out in a road test in it. Um, gave some of the other panels a little clean up, but they're no, they're no perfect, but let's have a wee look. From here, it's no looking too bad. The bumper's fine, obviously, because I blended that in. It's blended right over to the Renault badge. Where the wing meets, the bonnet and the sunlight actually looks not too bad. It even looks not too bad up onto the A-pillar when you look for this angle onto the door. It's not the worst. But then when you look for this angle, I don't know if the camera sees it, but I can see it that it's really red looking compared to the original. But yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. At least the car's usable for now. I'll need to talk to the customer about blending it up onto the bonnet uh, blend it onto the door and blend it onto the A-pillar because that's the only real way of fixing this. But the whole reason this has ended up like that is because this car has had a full respray. I don't know, you won't see it on camera, but the spoiler looks like it's not even got lacquer on it. It looks like just base coat. 
the biggest problem is when body shops do full resprays on stuff like this. It's obviously came to Arnold Clark, this could have been for an auction or scratched up. They've paid for it to get a full respray, but they've probably done it a wee bit cheaper. So the body shops most likely had their own paint mixing stuff. So they've mixed up the code, T, E, N, N, F. They could have been missing one of the toners. They could have used a slightly different colour of base coat. Uh, they could have used a different, slightly different colour of peril. And before you know it, you get a slightly different colour. Now, because it's had a full respray, that doesn't matter a job because it looks perfect on every panel. It's not until you try and do a repair like this that you find the problems. So, where I've blended on in the bumper, you can get away with it. I think, ideally, one coat of peril would have done it. Uh, I know that now, but I've got the old wing there. I can do a bit of a test spray on it while the guy's using it. And if he wants to come back and get it redone, I'll talk to him about blending it onto the bonnet, onto the door, and up the A-pillar, and then we'll totally blend it out. But of course, that's another, that's a bigger job, that's nearly another week's worth of painting, so... Well, I'm just rolling it out, No, you're alright, you're alright. That's the guy here to pick it up, so I'm going to bail, I'll see you in a minute. There we go, young lad's away, happy as Larry, he's got his car back. I actually spoke to him about that wing and he says it looks alright, so he's quite happy to leave it like that. We'll see what he thinks in a couple of days when the sun's hit it, he might change his mind. Uh, there is a couple of wee bits of dirt in it as well, he's got to bring it back for bit of D-dip once it's had a few days to harden up the lacquer. But yeah, that's another one done. Time to get something else in the workshop, time to end this video. So, thanks again for watching guys, I know it was a quick one. Um, all filmed on the DJI Osmo camera, so no messing about. If you like this content, let me know, get a thumbs up, hit the comments down below, let me know what you think. And if you guys have got any advice on trying to blend that paint a bit better, or how we can adjust the colour to make it a bit more orange, jump in the comments as well, I'm open to advice. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks again guys, and we'll see you next time.